Hi there, I made this video in response to Veritasium beaker ball balance problem where at the end of the video he asks whether the ping pong ball side of the balance will drop or the acrylic ball side of the balance will drop or whether they'll stay uh, balanced. Now I thought it would be B, the ping pong ball side initially uh, because it looks like he's giving a extra force downwards on it but wasn't 100% sure so I decided to conduct a experiment of my own now I didn't have a ping pong ball or an acrylic ball but what I did have was uh, two other objects with identical volumes uh, so they were I used this bottle that I put the lid back on and just left some air inside it to represent the ping pong ball because as we can see that one floats and I've got this one which is hanging up in the uh, cupboard just here and that one I filled with water and put the lid back on and then uh, because that one will sink so this one represents the ping pong ball and then this one represents the uh, acrylic ball now I didn't have any uh, balances uh, like the one used on the video but I had some of these so the theory being that the bottle that's in the water with the largest uh, reading on the scales will be the one uh, will be the one uh, that tip that tips so let's take a look so at the moment it's floating but i've got to hold it below the surface just like it does in the video and when we do that so it's just below the surface not touching the edge of the container and that has got a reading of let's call it 1,900. It's fluctuating up and down a little bit, but our first reading was 1,900 grams. So let's take our air-filled bottle out. Remember that represent, represents our ping pong ball, and let's put in our water-filled bottle, which represents our uh, acrylic ball. So uh, it's attached to uh, the handle of the cupboard there by this blue string. And if we drop it in there, lower it down gently, there we go. And we've got a reading of, well, again, it's 1,900. So, both had 1,900 for both of our readings there. Now, this is the second time I've done this uh, experiment. And the first time I did it, I got a difference of uh, 0.49. Uh, percent difference between the measurements that I took. So I think that's pretty much good evidence to a reasonable degree of scientific accuracy that the answer is C, that they remain balanced.